happens when you attempt to cancel one of your best friends under false accusations. And then you find out that those accusations were fabricated. It doesn't change the fact that you once stood accusing somebody falsely of S.A. That was the Slazo situation. You may or may not have remembered this, but a individual who was friends with Slazo Knight by the name of I'm Alex, was the internet sensation guy. As of yesterday, a uh, document, 82-page document, was dropped on the man. And to say... I'm not surprised. I'm Alex happens to be one of those individuals who goes by the statement, believe everything. And unfortunately, we can't operate that way on the internet. It just doesn't work. Sit back. We have to ask questions. We have to verify, see what is true, what is isn't. And sometimes that is easier said than done. But we're going to go through this document uh, from my first time viewing. We're, there's some video in there I have not watched yet. Yesterday, June 15th, she dropped a Google Drive. And first off, we're going to go through these videos. Apparently, the Google Doc video had been downloaded too many times, so I couldn't download it. So we're watching this on Twitter. This is the first one. Let's do it. Sorry first. So I'm a f is it generally because you're just brain dead? Yeah, I'm very brain dead, yeah. Is that why you decided to go on the offensive instead of the uh, maybe... Offensive. Okay. I don't. Know, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the weird route. Just do the normal route, which is, just do the normal route, but a normal girlfriend. Yeah, acting like oh, this I didn't, is I didn't all just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna bash your head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the. F you because this one genuinely, this one, this one, you you fuck. Uh, okay, dude, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at what he's saying to his ex. I'm just I acting know. like I this is I all mean just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna <laughs> bash your head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the f up. You because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you you f this royally. F okay, number one, um, people fight. Okay, people in relationships, exes, relationships. Partners, marriage, whatever. People fight. People say things, right? Words. Uh, and if you're telling an ex-partner or your partner that you are threatening to hit them with an item, I'm sorry, that that, that kind of draws a line in the sand that's pretty abusive. It's plain and simple. Like, want to hurt this person with a brick. Uh, allegedly. Uh, so, yeah, that's not cool. Uh, clearly, you have anger problems because that's a very... Look, people say things out of anger, but if you're threatening to physically harm somebody, that's a different type of verbal abuse. Thing about you, and this is the thing, and this is why I ran around in circles. I joined Cool, and when I'm getting, you're talking to me, going, this is the thing. Even though now, now, when it's too late, you admit that you did everything wrong. But when it actually matters, when you should lay down like a good dog, you don't do it, you fight. For some reason, I don't know why you fight because you're losing because you end up admitting that you fall up anyway. So it's just weird, and I know that you're going to end up admitting that you fall up, which is why it's even like massive issues there. I'm and you think you can, you think you can just ignore them because like, well, what's the worst that can happen? Um, I don't know. Uh, your boyfriend's a famous internet celebrity, and it doesn't <laughs> trust these people. Because... Oh my god, bro, Alex. Your boyfriend's a famous internet celebrity. That is ultimate cringe right there. And oh my god, the level... This is why I quit YouTube, by the way. I know I'm making a video. I, I, I'm going to post very irregularly every once in a great moon. For the love of Christ, this is how out of touch... And look, I used to be that person too, at a point. Where, like, you do YouTube, it builds an ego on you. E exceptionally large. and. In the last year and a half, almost two years, I hate the term YouTube celebrity. It disgusts me. Influencers gross me out. Like, I get irritated hearing them even, even watching YouTube videos. Like, when I watch YouTube videos now, it's just, like, almost purely for educational or Star Wars lore or some stupid thing like that, or history. Um, but this is, I'm, I'm telling you, like 95% of online creators are out of touch of reality when it comes to their inflated ego on their YouTube game gets to their head so much that they actually think that they're this pop high tier shit and you're not.
You make goddamn YouTube videos for a living. You're not special. I used to think I was. I used to I think I was top shit. I'm nobody. I'm not relevant. Either is I'm at this just this just this that statement alone, your your boyfriend's an internet celebrity, goes to show how these people have no ground in reality anymore. I used to give a shit about image on the internet, and now I I I, I just I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> and it's so crazy to me that I'm hearing this because I used to think like this too back in the day. Um, and thank God I got out of YouTube shit because my goodness, it's not healthy and it makes people deranged and delusional. And I'm Alex, you clearly have hit that mark. These people, because he has to keep his circle small. Because you might not have anything to face, because your life might be down the drain, but I still have quite a lot that I would like to give. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Special thanks to the sponsor of the channel today, Vance Global. Vance Global's products come with absolutely no additives or chemicals and is number one in providing absolute comfort and relaxation to you on the daily, the weekly, or even monthly. All of their products are lab tested and their variety speaks for itself because depending on what you want to eat or put on your tasty lips, they will meet all of your personal needs. They got the num nums, they got the carts, they got the papers. You go to vanceglobal.com right now and use code Repsion at checkout, you're gonna get 20% off all of your orders. They ship to all 50 states. Additional free shipping. To steal of a deal, hit that first link down below in the description box. Check Vance Global out for yourself. They are the truly next best thing. Hey, all of you, you guys are fucking like, like, I can't make any videos of Paul Breach. What judging mentor is. I think I may have said like a hundred times to the point where it's actually really hard to follow what I'm saying because it's so flexible. I've mm -hmm. gone. You could do this, but you might be able to do that. But you might be able to do that. You might be able to do this. And this might work, but you might be able to do that. And it's all, it sounds f mental. I, I don't even understand how you could possibly actually follow along to it. I know, like most of my friends struggle to actually understand what I'm saying. Um, but that's why I'm a professional and you're all not. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with you? This is why I'm a professional. You make YouTube videos online. There's nothing professional about that. I'm sorry to say... Sure, it's a career, but like professional. Your if your YouTube channel was gone tomorrow, you would be nobody, Alex. Nobody, a nobody. What the literal hell would you do with your life if your YouTube channel was gone tomorrow? You no, know, what I would do, I would continue doing my life because I don't rely on YouTube anymore. You're the professional. There's nothing professional about being a YouTuber unless you're like working in VF, uh, you know, special effects and stuff like that, like one of those crazy ass cool ass artists does animations i'm sorry but you making commentary videos is not professional there's nothing unique about that this is the official document it's a total of 82 pages um i've already read a lot of what she has written in here so i will have it linked down below if people want to actually read it uh but one of the things i've noticed through through these types of conversations is how juvenile and childish and the way that i've seen these conversations like this okay this one right here so call me nope i'm not yes you clearly are bye bye exclamation mark duck you ducking idiot you win duck you duck you duck you duck you uh you're ducking stupid text like a uh naughty uh you text like a pop tart so call me and these are linked into the document itself if you want to actually look through these but one of the funny, funny things is st stop talking over me. You're unbearable. I can't cope with it. You got what you wanted. See you. Shut up, please. Permanently. Oh, my. I hate you. I don't enjoy talking to you. <laughs> um, how do you not understand? I hate you. Even now, you're purposely being dense. I know you know I'm right. You're just being difficult. I'm going to refollow all the people I unfollowed for you you're gonna be like that then i can be like that you hung up on me talk about being grateful you got in a weird way of showing it keep talking over me all right alice this is what you want i'm mad at you i don't like you i hate you don't care yes you are you're dumb as duck you deserve it i actually care i generally think i've fallen out of love with you because I, you simply don't try i do i don't want to be with you you're too much work you're stressing me out you hung up on me dude grow up people in relationships hung hang up on each other it happens the fact that you're taking it such so personally on and on and on some of these uh just this one is 
I don't accept it. No. Okay, then duck off. Die. <laughs> oh my god. This honestly, when when people talk like this, when they're like, screw off, die, 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 die. I'm sorry, but that just to me, that's they have some mental related issues, uh, specifically, and I think they're either bipolar or borderline. Uh, when people speak like this, because this is just not a normal way that people talk. Say, die, 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 die. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, it, it isn't. Um, I've been in some bad relationships, and even being in a bad relationship, man, this is not a normal conversation, okay? It's just, like, telling people to take their life, a conversation, and you're supposedly in a relationship with that person, that's incredibly abusive. Telling, your per telling anybody, X or not, to take their life is crazy. He calls her a stupid woman. I don't want you. Oh, wait, I want to be alone. Jesus, I, how dramatic is this? Dude? Clearly have you win. You told she replies. You told me to KMS myself. Duck off. I said, thanks. A difficult little B. You're a C. Maybe you should have shut your mouth. Let's break up. No, I don't want to break up. I don't love you. I want to break up. I want to be single so I can deal with my stuff alone. A delusional B. Go away, psycho. Craziest woman I've met. Honestly, from what I've seen of these conversations, it doesn't seem that crazy, but what do I know? You're a jobless freak. Imagine trying to leech or teach she uh, Pop-Tarts like you and my mates. How do I do this? You're annoying. Be ducking grateful. <clears throat> no, somebody's entitled with that one. Someone with an expertise I actually have. This just goes back to my original point. Somebody with expertise. I don't even know the full context of this, this text conversation, but when somebody's like expertise I have, you sit in front of your computer and edit YouTube videos expertise again your youtube channel is gone what do you have to offer the world alex nothing go get go do something with your life literally youtube is not it this is this has gone to your head way too high up way too high up man and look i've been there myself and you gotta do you gotta go through some crazy ass shit to get your ass humbled to you to get you're out of this ego egotistical youtube maniac cycle of thinking that you're the best greatest thing of all of all time uh, numbers social media and numbers really does a number on people and it really gives this person people a false level of entitlement in a sense of like people owe them shit nobody owes you anything alex nobody owes me anything nobody knows anything just because you make youtube videos does not make you better than anybody even if they don't have a job they don't make youtube videos i'm going away anyway come with me a crap girlfriend generally bad at it emotional level of a ducking brick just say yes you dumb beep you're thick man good night there's nothing you're being a b word could have listened to a genuine master plan for free but you just can't i don't even know the context of this but clearly he's giving her advice on something she's not taking it and he's offended by it that, that's how i interpret that um duh you have the literacy of a child permanent you have a permanent attitude giving me crappy attitude i won't unblock to you i'm talking to you like i'm talking to a brick maybe don't be a dumb it's crazy oh this is the second time he used the n-word oh my goodness guys the i'm alex the, the the guy who made it a very big goal to make statements about how slurs should not be used is using slurs in his private conversations Oh my gosh, he needs to be canceled for this. For context, I actually don't give a, l a rat's behind uh, him using slurs. Um, I don't. I'm sorry. I just don't care. But I care when people moral grandstand, right? And they're like, you can't say this word, but then they use the same words in the privacy of their own life or DMs or relationships. I just find that really hypocritical. Don't make videos and don't morally grandstand on slurs if you're going to be using the slurs in private anyway. That's why you've never seen me take a stance on slurs. Moral grandstanding is just fucking bitchy, dude. It, you're a fucking bitch if you do it that way. I'm sorry. It's, it's just reality. I don't think I'm good enough. Sorry. I just like how it works. I haven't said anything else to be making shit up. I don't understand. It's not like a magical row with a million choices. You <laughs> So you get to sleep all day. So it, to me, it sounds like he's a little bit jealous the fact that she doesn't have as much work to do as him because he's a YouTuber. He would tell me to die constantly, told me he doesn't want... He would tell me to die constantly, told me that he didn't want me and that he could easily replace me. That's crazy. I would reply to explain how he was rude and got offended. He would go to say, N-word, that's the truth. Uh, A-M-S yourself. I told you how to make six figures, so duck off. I told you how... <laughs> 
This is what I'm telling you. This goes back to my original point. I'm going to keep reiterating that because this is just showing what I'm... I predicted this all the way from the page, that first audio clip when he's like, I'm professional. Your boyfriend's an internet celebrity. She's not listening to his advice and he's getting upset by that. Holy crap. The ego. I have no fond memories with you. Actually, none. Okay, that's... That's pretty harsh to say. I got more important things to do than your feelings, especially when your feelings are based on actual actual wank. Keep pushing, you lost, just accept. You're being a dumb woman and more on how I can actually help you. you know, some women don't need help. All they need is somebody just to listen to them. That's what I've learned in my three years of life. Sometimes when a woman opens up to you or she's venting to you, she's actually not looking for you to fix the problem. She just wants you to listen to her and this is coming from somebody who's had the experience where somebody opens up to me and they vents to me and i think they want me to you know get a solution when the reality is they didn't want a solution they just wanted me to listen i've been there but this is clearly he has no conceptualization of wanting to just listen to somebody just because somebody vents to you their feelings doesn't mean that you have to fix it either i have to push my videos back to accommodate you offer you bring you a headset start going on about how you scared to move just die in a hole. He's so extreme in these messages. Like, why? Next week, start working, get a hobby for the love of God, fighting people in comments, slow life behavior, stop pretending to be stupid, blocked. Oh, that's great. You know, the, the blocking, unblocking, blocking, unblocking, unblock, blocking, blocking, unblock, unblock, call. I'm sorry, but don't, don't waste your time. If that if that keeps happening, like it's one thing if you block somebody for a little bit and then you cool down and then talk to them again. But if you're like blocking them and they're messaging you, blocking, unblock, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's so destructive and it's really, really dysfunctional. He opens up to her mom about what's going on. I want to live with a guy where I have to suffer in silence or be quiet. That's literally hell. He wants a little minion to love him and need him. He tells me I need him. He's Satan. Okay, if that's true, if a dude, if any man or woman says that you need me, they're delusional. Run the opposite direction. I'm serious. Nobody needs anybody. It's just, a, it's a fact. I want to be with somebody, but if a guy or girl says like, you need me to be happy or you need me in your life, red flag. Run opposite direction. Get away. Find you. God, no, I forgave you. Da, da, da. Psychotic freak. I'm not dealing with this. You start stuff. You affair. What you did earlier. Because I, I guess she slapped him in the face or something. Uh, or no, she kicked her allegedly um not answering the question you ever talk about me again sometimes it's easier just to like facetime somebody and actually talk rather than text sometimes text makes situations way worse because you can't listen to tone right i didn't realize how one-sided i was being i made a lot of excuses i wanted to try to make it right by you i don't know i was blind i relied on crutches i told you i loved you and then i would get so angry other stuff is pointless now i was scoring points in my head I was frustrated when we called because I was faking it. I convinced myself we'd both fix each other, but I was just making out problems worse and it couldn't be stopped. Dude, Alex, you need to do some therapy. Get into some professional therapy. I can't barely... God, his penmanship is terrible. Terrible. Um, I don't even care what that says, honestly. You're a huge screw-up. A... Wow, freak weirdo. Slimy. It's like, unlovable. I don't... Stupid. <laughs> You're on never-ending ego trip. Breaks up with me and blocks me constantly. Called me a dog to his mom. Tells me to shut up in front of his mates. Important feelings, especially when your feelings are based on absolute wank. Told me to cut myself again. That's crazy. To, to tell somebody to go cut themselves is wild. He would break my neck. And then he says you can't live without them. See, that is that is a level of delusional crazy. When somebody's like, I want you dead or I hate you. And then they're like, I love you. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. I want you dead, but I can't lose. Like that is met. That's that's a, that's mental health related issues at that point. That is not normal. Normal people don't do that. Normal people talk. They try to have to communicate things. And sometimes communication just doesn't work out. And that's OK. When you're going around telling people that you want to like hurt them and break their neck and bash their skull in with a brick that that's not normal. Nothing about that is normal. I insulted you and I shouldn't have kicked you. Oh goodness, there it is. We did kick her. So that is domestic violence. Trying to pull you towards me in an argument was wrong. I do not support DV in any context. Man or woman, woman or man, DV is where you have to draw a line in this facade. Uh, when it comes to shit like that, not okay. That stuff ruins you.
mentally horrible 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 about a cat they got in a fight out for him saying mean things to a cat i sit on the sofa with you all day the cat to be peaceful like everything's collapsing then you dodge my kiss it's hard it really was my whole day for legal purpose i won't attach the evidence but i have it in due time maybe made public he has tried to make me stay quiet online and suggested he would deny all of this if this happens i will release undeniable evidence how the tables have turned because this was the same guy who was insistent on canceling one of his friends for sa which didn't happen and now the tables have turned full circle now you i'm alex the one being canceled and under the assumption that this is all pretty verifiable and undeniable you're kind of a pos but that doesn't surprise me, considering that you stood by somebody who falsified evidence and then, instead of doing an normal apology, doubled down on that and said, well, I'm still not going to be friends with this person because of X, Y, and Z, despite the fact that you falsely accused them of SA. You don't really come back from that, and everything does come back around in the end. Karma is real, and I hope you just witnessed it firsthand. Uh, given my I'm Alex's past canceling people and now he's being canceled himself <sighs> it is what it is